this video is sponsored by no one. Now, where we're going, we're not going to need roads. Actually, we will because we're not in a plane DeLorean. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Move Your Bus here and today we are back with another vlog. I have never done these vlogs in a while. So today we are here at Cal State Northridge and today we are going to explore filming locations in the San Fernando Valley. I have lived in the valley all my life. I have never moved out of it and I've always wanted to see the places that they filmed at because Hollywood is only like a couple miles away from here and I know for a fact that I've seen plenty of filming locations myself and I know there's still more to explore. So let's start here at Cal State Northridge. Now I actually attend this school myself. I just got on my last class of the week. Uh, it's been going good so far, not a lot of trouble, it's just syllabus week, so it's not really anything to do right now. But um, today we are here at Cal State Northridge, and today we are going to explore the Oviat Library. Now this library has been used for many TV shows and films, but this library in particular has been recognizable for the movie Sky High. That's right, that's Sky High, that's the original high school campus, and I could, what I could tell you right now is that what you saw inside the movie is not actually inside this library. In fact, as you can tell, this high school, this library is grounded. Yeah, in the movie, it's supposed to be up in the sky above like some sort of hovering device, but this this library is grounded. You, you can also see where the where the palm trees are um, at. There used to be these pillars for the movie. I don't know where they are now, but I think they were like CGI or something, but yeah, that was like pretty interesting detail. I think those were computer generated, so, and I think it's, um, I don't think they use any green screen at all here, so I'm actually surprised how they actually made this school into a levitating building, you know? Now, this was also featured in some TV shows like Law & Order, I think, or Criminal Minds or SWAT, but uh, they did film here as well. They also filmed Star Trek. I don't think I was able to recognize the building in that movie, but um, they probably might have shut up up close. That's why we can't see the exterior that well. Also, this is actually pretty cool. So I believe in my second or third year, um, Seth MacFarlane was filming the Orville. I think that's what it's called here. And a lot of, it was like all these students out here and they were filming in the front. I guess they had like these guards or something doing like some sort of ceremony. They had the ship right over there. It was like this giant ship and there was all these camera crew here. And yeah, it was just all these men like on the stairs right there and over there on the sides. And they were just guarding and they were welcoming Seth MacFarlane to this place i don't know what the i don't know what this place is used for in the in the show but um it's pretty cool seth mcfarlane was also we couldn't actually meet him and so there was like security heavy security but he did he was nice enough to um say hi and wave to everyone and all the students were excited to see him as you can see up close they are doing some construction i don't know what for they used to be like um benches and tables for the students to study to study at but i don't know what they're doing here at all the library is still open but it's just they're working on the exterior they're probably putting in like some new flooring or something. At least I could tell everyone that I went to Sky High. It's pretty cool. Now, if you look over here, right across from the library, this is um, a hall for the financial aid department. And this is actually a location for one of my favorite TV shows. Now, if you look over here, this is actually where they shot The Office. Um, if you remember season three, episode 17, I think, um, the, the business meeting, uh, they did, uh, Ryan and Michael were here doing a lecture for some business students and they were coming out of this building and if you look over there, that's where they filmed these boys throwing frisbees around. And then of course Michael came by, ran over through here, inter interfered with the game and threw the frisbee over there. It's pretty cool, huh? And it's just me or are we the only campus with a lot of squirrels. Hi squirrel! Please don't, get, don't, please don't go for my nuts. I'm sorry. I'll back off now. I'm sorry. I just stay out of the camera. No mean to bother you. <sighs> These squirrels are crazy on this campus. Well, that's it for CSUN. Let's go explore some other places. So today we are at the Northridge Mall or the Northridge Fashion Center, as they like to call it. And this is where they actually shot the Golden Globe, the Golden Globe now beneath the prom. And then you will arrive to the famous water fountain now they did shoot love thy neighbor down here although it doesn't look like it because the bookshop was never there the candy stand was not here and all these other little kiosks are all around but they emptied out this entire space to perform this musical number 
I believe his name is Andrew Reynolds and the rest of the cast were here doing Love Thy Neighbor. Uh, they shot over here and up above the food court, which I'll show you in a second. But this is pretty cool. I never really seen the Northwest Mall get used for filming, but just to see one movie with this location is actually pretty cool. See, this is where the cast came down to perform their number and then they went over there to that fountain. Now, I don't know which table specifically the cast sat at, but this is the food court where they all hang out and uh, talk about their gossip and some other bullshit. Now that we're done with the Northridge Mall, I'd like to take you to a very popular filming location that you probably didn't even know was here. Now, I was actually really surprised about this particular location because it was from one of my favorite movies and I didn't even know it was in the valley. Now, where we're going, we're not going to need roads. Actually, we will because we're not in a flying DeLorean. Now you may not now you may recognize this house, but this is the house from Back to the Future. That's right. That is Marty McFly's house. And he and Doc Brown drove the DeLorean down this street, or I say flew the DeLorean down this street. This is this is actually really cool. I never thought it would be in the valley. This is we're in our leader right now, by the way. And I thought this street would be much bigger, but it's actually pretty small. Now, I don't want to record the house too much because I don't want to disturb the people who live inside, but um, this is, this is actually a pretty cool set. There, you, you can see the garage, and I'm assuming on the left, that's where M Marty McFly, Michael J. Fox jump over the fence. And this is, this is pretty cool. As we get closer to the end of the day, there is a couple more places that I want to check out that are actually close to my home. So for our next destination, we are going by somewhere that is very historically important for the people of San Fernando. We are at San Fernando High School, high, the high school of Richie Valens. This school was featured in the movie La Bamba, one of my favorite movies of, of all time. And this is where Richie Valens actually went to school. Now we probably have not gotten any like interior shooting because you can't just school you can't just film during school hours. But what I do remember is that this street was flooded with students and Richie Valens did drive his car and he did pick up Donna around here somewhere. Now where I'm about to take you is a shot that I did recognize in the movie and it's only right around the corner. Now this is most likely the auditorium or the gym, I'm not sure, but right over here, this used to be a parking lot until they made the football field over here it used to be over there but now they use that for baseball fields they move the football field over there and this whole area used to be a parking lot and you will see Richie Valens and Donna walk around or walk through this street over here in the movie La Bamba now I really wanted to go to this school but my parents thought that this school was too ghetto I guess they never heard of Silmar High before I did get to see my stepbrother graduate from the school though. Now our next location is actually not too far from here. It's actually just down the street. Welcome to the George Lopez house. You know that one show that was on when you fell asleep and you woke up at 3 in the morning after watching Spongebob all night? Yeah, it's pretty funny how many times I went by this house and I didn't even realize it was the George Lopez house. Now, although the inside is not the same as the one on the show, the inside is actually much smaller. Fun fact for you guys, down the street was actually my old middle school and we didn't have a, a gym or an auditorium to do um, to do any exercises or gym classes. So what the school made us do was we had to walk down to San Fernando Park, which was actually a mile walk. So it didn't make sense why we had to do a mile run after that. And we would always pass by the George Lopez house. That's actually a really nice car. I don't know what it is. Well, I don't know what model it is, but it's actually pretty nice. Now we do have time for one more stop. It is after six o'clock and the sun is about to set. We only have time for one more stop. Now for our last stop, it's actually a stop that I didn't even recognize it was in a movie until I saw the movie itself. So I just saw a Little Miss Sunshine in 2020 or I think 2019, one of the two. And I looked and the scene were and the scene where Dwayne has his meltdown, I realized that area seems particularly 
familiar. I had to pull over onto this uh, to this driveway, but because I couldn't pull over on the street. But if you look over there, along that street, that's where the yellow van had to pull over, so Dwayne could go down that hill and have his little mental breakdown. You know the one where you was like divorced, bankrupt, suicide. That's the scene I'm talking about. You can instantly recognize the hill. You can see the houses over there. Now they might look different in the movie than they are right now, but I can confirm that there had, there has been at least one or two um, wildfires that have destroyed some of the property over here. So um, that's why they look new, remodeled, or repainted. Oh, and a little fun fact: um, down that street is um, a little baseball park that I used to play. Um, Pinto baseball. I'll, I believe I was like in the third or first grade, but you just go down that street and that's where I used to play baseball. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you enjoyed all the amazing places that we went to today. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you follow me on my social medias and see you on the next vlog. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.